Okay, I've actually decided to do a review of my Tesla coil keyring, the one I take out and about, basically. Um, a bit of a show thing. It's like, well, that's exactly what it is. A bit of a show thing. Oh, you turn the with that on. Right, let's uh, show you what it does. I mean, obviously it's it's a Tesla coil, so it does what a Tesla coil does. And only what it's a Tesla coil does, but hey. Oh, that's not very good. What's going on there? <laughs> I wonder if that's what it's taking power from there. It is. How cool is that? <laughs> I'm still learning about this stuff. Oh, that's mental. Oh. <clears throat> yeah, it's basically... It'll run a 3 volts. Any Tesla coil that's using the 2N2222A transistor will actually run off... Well... 2.5 to 3 volts will get it actually working, but you'd literally have to like tap it on it or something like that to get it going. But you get up to 5 volts and you start getting a nice little field. Well, actually, about 4.2 volts, you start getting a nice little field and it starts growing from there on inwards. I even have a little cover for this so it's completely protected and safe. Pull that off, and I've actually got shallow tape around the normal coil itself, so the whole coil's safe and protected. I could have used some spray or something, but I decided against that. So, um, one of my other coils I've done something a bit different with. I mean, I'm constantly doing new things so that I've, I've got different stuff and all that sort of thing. Right, long story short, this one hasn't got any glue on it whatsoever. It's my first coil with no glue whatsoever. I've actually used this stuff. That's called UV Resin. It's basically clear, see-through, and you set it with a UV light. I've only got a laser pen to set it with, but it is UV active, so it works. The whole point of that, you can see through it, and it's like there ain't no chipping in there. It's literally one transistor, one resistor, and you've got it working. Boom. <coughs> so, yeah, same as all these, but the review was about that one, so... Um, in fact, you can even see the little resistor there. I've actually left it slightly so that I can see which colour it is, because I, I went through a stage of getting the wrong resistors in there. Um, Put this way, the 100k uh, resistor won't work on this, it's too much ohms. You need around the 10k to 20k's, about 30k tops and you start losing your, your powers and stuff. So, Alright, well I need to do another video in a minute about my 9 volt one, so we'll be moving on in a second. But as you can see, I do have an array. I mean, just quickly show you over there, there's more Tesla coils there. <laughs> um, if you look at some of my previous videos, I mean I've got some really... Nice looking coils, we've got some music Tesla coils, we've got... This is one of my first portable Tesla coils, it is a 3 volt, it runs off... Now let me open it up and show you it. Two treble A batteries. Now if you can get one running off that... And <laughs> I'm looking as good as I've done this one because I, I'll be honest with you... If, well... Uh, I can just close that back up, I've lost the screws. I've used pieces of uh, stuff from other things as you can tell to make that. Look the top notch. That is pretty damn decent. Uh, it also has a sound activated mode as well as just on, which is like a bit squeaky and I have it. Uh, but yeah. While I'm on this video, I'll just quickly show some of the uh, projects. These two are not um watch some jigs. I bought these as parts with like oh <clears throat> that one's off wish, that one's off eBay, basically. Um, it turns out they've got pretty much the same as two of them. Um, I've added one of them into it, so I've got two of them. The wire on this was really tight, so I've put my own on it. Uh, they both play music. A little thing to people to know, though, if you get G and D, you solder the two points together, the arc will get bigger and it won't no longer play music, but you get a bigger arc. So, I actually heat sink this one up a little bit more. Um, I do have a fan that fits on there sometimes, but I keep popping them. Because the fans are 12 volts and I'm powering these up to 24 volts, so obviously I'm getting poppage here. So, yeah, more oh, USB stuff. I mean, that will actually power as low as 5 volts on the USB. The reason I know that is because I've got a hand crank that I use to do it. Uh, that, that'll go for different things. Uh, it doesn't do very well until it hits 7 volts, but that's because they're supposed to be uh, 15 watt, aren't they? So. Alright, well, see you on the next video.